Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Speech number five, your body speaks. Our bodies are affected in different ways. We have some evidence of that tonight. For example, sometimes smoke will affect people sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that it relates to how our body is affected in all types of ways. Tonight I'd like to talk a little bit about changing our state. Not where we live, but how we feel. And maybe bring up some methods of how we can do that in simple ways. Sunday morning, I was sound asleep, lying there in bed. I woke up. I didn't feel so good. I looked to my left, and my beautiful wife, Stacy, was already up and at it. And I had a headache. And I was tired. And I had two nightmares. And I felt miserable. I rolled out of bed. And I wandered over to the door, opened it up, peeked out. There was Stacy sitting on the couch watching TV. Smiling. <laughs> Walked over to the kitchen. I had terrible dreams last night. Awful. Started to make my way towards the garage, slumped over, made it to the garage, opened the door, got outside, walked down the driveway, picked up the paper. So I was picking up the paper, I thought to myself, oh my, what have I just done? My strife-filled morning <laughs> was spilling over into Stacy's life. I was miserable. And by behaving like that, walking through the house like that, communicating like that, it was not a good thing. So. There were some things I learned in the past. Number one, I learned a different culture about communication between men and women. Stacy told me not to behave like that. So what I thought was, how am I gonna change how I feel immediately and then go back inside and make Stacy feel terrific? Standing there in the garage, I remembered a technique to make myself feel better. And it included standing there, looking up, putting a smile on my face, and telling myself, there's no way I can feel bad while I'm doing this. <laughs> now, this is the strangest thing, but if you will, sit up in your chairs. You're gonna think this is the most ridiculous thing ever, but if you sit up in your chairs, put a smile on your face, <laughs> Look up at the ceiling. Now try to feel bad and full of strife right now while you're smiling looking up at the ceiling. Okay. Well, I hope that worked for you. And that's exactly what I did before walking into the house. The, the other thing that I did was I, before I got to the door, I said, I better breathe deep. Because she might not be so nice about this. I was pretty bad. So I took some deep breaths. And then I thought about what I was going to say and how I was going to say it. <clears throat> you know, one other thing that popped into my mind, but I didn't use it, was facial expression. And a long time ago, I learned there was about 80 different muscles in our face. And the way that we use our face actually affects how we feel. It affects our emotions, affects our physiology. And I believe there was a study done at the University of California, San Francisco, maybe in the 80s, where they took manic depressants and they had them smile for 20 minutes at a time. And what some of the results indicated is that these people actually felt different. 
And it's a technique that's used in some environments. I've tried it before, and it's worked. It's worked for me. I call it forcing myself to feel better. <laughs> For me personally, the most important things for feeling good <coughs> include the appropriate amount of sleep, the appropriate diet, and just the right amount of exercise. For example, last year, about this time, I began to take about 20 minutes at lunch and just leave the office and walk with a nice strong stride. Not too hard, breathing deep. Walking like I had a purpose and then telling myself I had a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> After four and a half hours in the office from eight to 12 or so, I got back to the office at about 12.30, 12.45 and I was revitalized. diet. What I discovered first thing in the morning is that if I had fruit, I was just loaded with energy. So for example, fruit at seven, loaded with energy. Till about nine o'clock when I was so hungry I was about ready to eat everything on the desk if there was something on the desk to eat. <laughs> so regarding the physical exercise, I kept it simple, nothing complicated. That way I could make baby steps towards getting some movement in my life. And regarding food, I, I recommend trying just the fruit sometime and definitely have a bag of food as a backup because you will be starving. But try it and see how you feel. Thank you. Madam Toastmaster.